Every once in a while, you get a React component that's made by a third party that's just not playing the way you want it to. And there's definitely a couple methods on how to actually solve that problem. One of them being is to quite literally go into their source code and grab the code that they have written that you could then turn around and build yourself. That's one option. Uh, another option, of course, is to issue or you know, send an issue to them about that problem. Um, and then finally, in the case of the one I'm gonna solve that's related to the last video, is sometimes it's something just little that's related to CSS. Or maybe you wanna customize CSS and override whatever those default CSS methods are for any given component. Um, so this is definitely different for every component on how it might be rendered, but what we can do is if you are unable to get the code online or you can't find it somewhere for some reason, you can jump in to your project into the node modules and specifically look for it, right? So I want to look for the React image crop and the React crops.css. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to whatever that React is. Uh, and this this hopefully helps you marvel at React a little bit too, is there's, there's, there's all of these components and still, when it's built, it's just a very, very small little piece. Okay, so I found React image crop, and here is the code for it. So I've got React crop here. This is actually the module itself, right? There's all sorts of things going on. It's one big page, one big JavaScript page that you could go through and sort of try and figure out what it is that's actually going on if you wanted. Uh, and that's true for any of these modules, right? But my CSS for React crop in particular is having a little error. Now this error is definitely not that big of a deal, right? It's just, a, we have to re replace fill available to stretch. Um, it's not a big deal in the sense that that is just a little spec that has changed. Um, it's still gonna work, um, but overall, this is something that might affect our, our, our um, cropping mechanism in the future. So I'm gonna just override these default CSS with this recommended thing. But what I'm gonna do is instead of going obviously into the node modules themselves, or maybe not so obviously, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy that whole thing of CSS and then go back into my project. Inside of learn, I'm just gonna make a new file here and say custom and then dash drag and image crop.css. Right, so that's that's roughly what it is that I'm doing here, but it's really just my custom image crop.css. I bring that in, pop it down, save it. Right, I'm gonna assume that it's actually valid CSS, but here is where you can you could absolutely change any of the CSS as you see fit. So going back in here, instead of importing now the React crop.css, I can actually import my relative import, and that is gonna be my custom dash image dash crop CSS, save that. And of course that error is still happening, but now it's happening relative to my project. So I can just come in here, it looks like it's at line 15 um, and then column five. So we come in into that CSS line 15 and then here you go. So it's saying not to use fill available, but instead to use stretch. So I'm just gonna do dash stretch. Okay, and I'm gonna assume that available is fine because it's not giving me an error about it. But I save it from uh, available to stretch and I refresh, what do you know? That error goes away. Uh, but again, this is a very, I, and I wouldn't say a very common thing, but it is something that you might need to do from time to time. And instead of trying to change the raw code every single time, you could just go in and change that one portion. Um, now, of course, if I still had the other one imported, so if I comment, comment that out or copy that rather, um, you know, if I still have the other one imported, it's probably still gonna give me that error, right? So it's not like it went away, that error is still definitely there, uh, but at least it went away from my local testing. And in this case, you know, maybe I wanna change something else. The, so the cursor changed to a crosshair on the crop, right? So if I go in here, it's a crosshair, so it looks like a crop. Uh, but what if I changed it to something like the grab? Or uh, maybe maybe it's not grab. Hold on, let me just double check and come in here. It's probably not gonna do anything. Yeah, so there's grab, right? So there we go, right? I can, I can just do it. I can change my styles right there. 
It's not the only way to do it, but, but it allows me to just play around with everything that's going on inside of um, this particular component and also solve that error at the same time. So it, it does serve a dual purpose for all this. Uh, thanks so much for watching. In the next one, we'll actually do the portion that is really important, and that is taking that crop and saving it. Make sure you subscribe to get everything. Thanks for watching. See you next time.